What's good YouTube? Swiftly here back with another NBA 2K25 video and in today's video I have another episode of Rare Builds for you guys as you can see on your screen. Today's episode we are creating a stretch for paint protector uh, which is again another new build that they added into NBA 2K25. Haven't really seen this build yet. Looks like a very interesting build. I like the name as well too. Uh, but with that being said, let's jump into the build now Obviously if you want to make this build you have to make it at the power forward position Otherwise, you won't get that stretch four name because it is a stretch four paint protector It's not a stretch five paint protector, you know, it's not a stretch wing uh, You know paint protector or whatever it is a stretch four paint protector So in order to be the four you got to have the power forward position um, I went 6'9", 248 with a 7'2 wingspan. Obviously, you could tweak this to how you like. This is just a template that I went with. And then for the attributes, uh, we have a 67 close shot. Uh, we have a 66 layup. We have a 72 drive and dunk. And the reason why I went with a 72 drive and dunk, I'll explain that in a second. We went with a 49 standing and then a 68 post control. Now, the reason why I went with a 72 driving dunk and pretty much low stats is because this is a stretch build. So you want to space the floor. Your main goal or object uh, for a build like this is to stretch the floor, usually to sit corner. You know what I'm saying? Stretch the floor that way or even, you know, sit on a wing. But usually you'd sit corner, bring the power forward or center out of the paint to open things up for your team. Right now. You want to do that, but you also, again, like I've always told you guys in these videos, you don't want to be one-dimensional. The worst thing that I hate the most about builds is builds that are one-dimensional that can only shoot. You can't drive. Then when you get boxed on the perimeter, now you can't do anything because now all you can do is shoot the ball and dribble the ball. You have no finishing. You can't do nothing now that you can't get nothing on the perimeter. You can't even go inside for a little layup, a little hop step, a dunk, a floater, or nothing because you didn't put any finishing on your build. So now when somebody's holding L2 on your dick and face guarding you, you now can't score. And now you're selling because you're forcing dumbass shots because you can't get your shot off. And instead of being able to go to a layup, a Euro, a hop step, a dunk, uh, a backdoor cut for alley-oop or something, now you can't score at all because you didn't put anything on finishing. So that's why I always try to have something on finishing. It's not much, but these stats will let you make a layup. These stats will let you make a floater. These stats will let you catch a backdoor lob or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that you're going to be doing meter dunks and catching contact bodies and stuff, but it's just a bare minimum for you to be able to finish. So when you are getting face guarded and they're like, oh, he just keeps running corner. Okay, now you hit a backdoor cut. Now you got a dunk or a layup. You know what I'm saying? So just to keep the defense honest, you want to put a little something on there. Now moving on to shooting, we do have a 77 midi, and then we also have an 80 three ball and then for the free throw we have a 82 free throw now for my players that play you know park you already know skip that free throw if you don't care about free throw for everybody else you're going to throw that 82 free throw in there because that's what we had left over and then for the playmaking you know what i'm saying we're going to go with the 83 pass accuracy we're going to go with a 60 ball handle. We're going to go with the 55 field ball so we get that Jokic dribble style. Now, obviously, this playmaker isn't the greatest. You got some decent passing with an 83. You got silver break starter, bronze uh, versatile visionary, and gold dimer. So that's pretty valid. It's not bad whatsoever. But you're not going to really be putting the ball on the floor. This is a stretch for a paint protector. So your build mainly is going to be stretching the floor and protecting the paint. That's really, you know, your main thing. But you can make some decent passes with the 83 pass accuracy. You know, you're going to have some badges. You're going to have gold diamonds. So you can end up racking up assists and playing out of post. And then please keep in mind that we also have a 68 post control. So you are going to have bronze post up poet. You're going to have bronze hook specialist and bronze post fade phenom. So you can do a little post work if you are, you know, skilled in post moves. You know, post spins, post fakes, you know, up and unders and whatnot, drop uh, drop steps and whatnot. If you are good, you can cook out of the post and make some, you know, passes and whatnot. Because we don't have post playmaker anymore, but we still do have diamonds. So you still can post up, make those passes out of the post and, you know, make something. You know, you're not going to just be shooting and getting blocks and playing in the paint. You can make some decent passes with an 83 pass accuracy as well, too. So 
uh, keep that in mind as well too. Then moving on to the defense, we're obviously going to have really high uh, interior because we're a paint protector. We're going with a 91 interior defense. We're going to have a 50 perimeter. We're going to have a 48 steel because that's like the uh, default or whatever. And then we're going all the way up to a 93 on the block. You know what I'm saying? And I, I really wanted, you know, a high level of paint controller and high flying denier and stuff like that because, you know, I want this build to really be able to protect the paint and really be able to lock the paint down. And with the 91 interior defense, 93 block, you know, people are still going to score on you here and there. But with those higher stats, you're going to be getting a lot more blocks. You're going to be forcing a lot more misses. It's going to be much harder for you to score uh down low on a build like this when you have high interior defense and high levels of badges like paint controller you know what i'm saying then moving on we have our rebounding which uh we went with a 94 defensive rebound and we went with a 70 offensive rebound now usually i don't touch offensive rebounding because i only care about defensive rebounding but on a build like this where you can make backdoor cuts and stuff you're not always going to you know be at the perimeter to space the floor sometimes you're going to be running pick and rolls sometimes you're going to be doing backdoor cuts and with how shooting is in this game people miss a lot of shots so you want a little bit of offensive rebound where if you are in position to get the offensive board you have an actual chance of getting the board if you have like a 40 offensive rebound and somebody else has like a 90 defensive rebound the odds of you getting that rebound are very very small when you're putting your offensive rebound versus their defensive rebound because most people go high on defensive and low on offensive so do keep that in mind you want that a little bit higher just so that you have a fighting chance because if you're going against a build like this that 70 offensive rebound is going against a 94 defensive rebound or a 92 or 85 uh, defensive rebound so you already at a disadvantage even if you do have similar levels of rebound chaser but you do want to give yourself a fighting chance because a 70 is much better than a 60 or 50 or a 40 or whatever the default is. So do keep that in mind when you're making these builds and you're putting rebounds on your build. Then moving on to the physicals, we went with a 77 speed. Uh, we went with a 70 agility. We have a 91 strength on this build as well too. And then we rounded it out with an 83 vertical. So right there you see we're going to have you know hall of fame high flying denier which is insane uh to think that we're going to have that and then if you look at the stats like it's it's kind of crazy you got a 91 strength to go with that you got hall of fame box out beast you got bronze strong handle not that we're going to be really putting a ball on the floor with this build like that you got gold brick wall um you got gold brick wall which can you uh, you can upgrade brick wall to hall of fame and legendary with your cap breakers and then you also have uh gold uh post lockdown which you can upgrade to hall of fame and legendary with cap breakers as well too uh like i said that 83 vertical getting us gold pogo stick serial uh, silver aerial wizard and hall of fame high flying denier which also we have gold paint patroller as well too you know what i mean so i think this build is really good you know obviously you guys can make tweaks to these builds uh to get it exactly to your liking but this is just what i went with uh, on my build and then of course when we create our build you'll see the shades of which we have jerry lucas we have draymond green and we have evan mobley in the shades of of course which all of these guys were good defenders and then of course you see our build we have built a stretch for paint protector so there you have it this is my stretch for paint protector build for nba 2k25 it's been your boy swiftly Please be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe for more NBA 2K25 content. And, of course, more rare builds like this. I'm out, y'all. Peace.